money will our company make next year? Um, I don't know. Who should we promote? I'm not sure. Who should we fire? I don't know. Which customer should we target for our new credit card marketing campaign? Honestly, I don't know. I can't accept no and I don't know. This is crucial information that I need access to right now. What should we do then? Look, we need somebody to analyze all of the data. And what would this job title be? A, A data, data scientist! scientist! Ryan, I am super happy that I hired you as our data science business consultant. Here are my problems. I own a Shopify online store and I want to maximize revenue, forecast sales, and reduce costs. I have a ton of data about my customers and products, but I have no idea what to do with it. I can definitely transform your business using data. We can leverage data science to increase your revenue, reduce cost, and optimize processes. Can you tell me in details what's your first problem, please? Well, which customer should I target for my new ad marketing campaign? We can use data science to perform customer segmentation or clustering by dividing your customers into groups or clusters based on their features. This is crucial when you do marketing because that can allow you to launch a targeted, personalized marketing ad campaign that can skyrocket sales and improve conversion rate. You can divide customers into clusters or groups based on their features, such as location, demographics, click streams, and age groups as well. In order to do clustering, unsupervised machine learning techniques, such as k-means, can be used to cluster features together. Did you understand that? Do you have any questions? I think I did. So what's your second problem? I want to predict future sales so I can stock my products and plan accordingly. What should I do? We can leverage data science to develop predictive models to forecast sales in the future. Predictive models attempt at forecasting future sales based on historical data. Data science can be used to predict future daily sales based on features such as promotions, seasonal effects such as Black Friday and Christmas sales. You can take into account as well seasonality effects, demand, holidays, promotions, and competition as well. Time series forecasting techniques such as Facebook profit can be used to predict future sales for you. Ryan, I am struggling. I have customers who are not purchasing my products anymore. They unsubscribed from my website and I have no idea why. Data science can help predict customer churn by identifying customers who are more likely to stop buying your products. We can also predict why did they do that. We can collect data about your customers and assign churn risk score to each of them. What we could do afterwards is that we can launch a targeted retention strategy to customers that are more likely to unsubscribe. The retention strategy can include discounted products, free offers, and massive discounted deals. You can build a prediction model using artificial neural networks that can train in a supervised fashion based on the features of customers who already left. This will allow us to predict who's more likely to leave and who's more likely to stay. Ryan, I'm thinking I should recommend products to my loyal customers, but I don't know which ones I should recommend. Can you help me with this? Well, we can develop recommendation engines such as Amazon or Netflix recommendation engines to suggest products to customers. Do you know that Amazon was able to increase sales by 29% because of their recommendation systems? That's an increase of multiple billions of dollars. We can develop a recommender system that can simply predict the probability of a customer to purchase a product and then what we could do afterwards is that we can suggest other products to that user. Doing so, we can improve sales and make your customers engaged and reduce churn as well. Recommendation systems work by developing an item-to-item -item collaborative filtering which can make recommendations in real time. What we could do afterwards is that we can match each of the user's purchased items to similar items then combine those similar items into a recommendation list for the user. 
Ryan, another thing? I don't even know if my customers are happy or not. I get thousands of tweets, Facebook and Instagram posts and reviews. I don't have time to track all this data. What should I do? How can I track this data and optimize on it? Well, we can use NLP or natural language processing and build the predictive model to predictive customers and happy or not. NLP works by converting words into numbers and training a machine learning models to make predictions. That way, you can know if your customers are happy or not automatically. Ryan, thank you so much. You don't know how much I appreciate this. In the next series of videos, I will show you guys how to apply these techniques in practice using real world data. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful and informative. If you like it, please hit the like and subscribe for more videos. And see you next time.